What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome back today to the original Road to Glory. It has been like a week and a half, maybe even two weeks since you've seen this series. So apologies for that. It was because last week, of course, we had career mode week going on and just... You know, the, the timings were just wrong. This hasn't seen the last step quite some time. So like I say, I do apologise about that. If you do enjoy this video, however, and still enjoy the series, leave a big thumbs up on the video. I always massively appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if this is the first time you come across us. And we've got a little bit to talk about at the beginning of this. We're going to be playing three league games, hopefully securing promotion into Division 5 soon. Well, hopefully in today's episode. But um, the transfer list is the first thing I'm going to show you. We've got everything on here as well, apart from one item, I think. And... Um, Bernardo Silver, 86 card. You will be thinking, you didn't have this card last time we saw this series. Well, the truth of the matter is, I built a team, but because it was that long ago, Bernardo Silver's prices had actually already gone up since then. Sold him for 39k. I paid 18k for this guy, so made a nice profit on him. We just had a general clear out of the club as well, so you can see all these players here. Most of them you should be familiar with, and you're going to kill me now, because these two here... Dehoud and Corb, I didn't wait long enough. They did end up rising in value up to about 17k at one point, but I sold them because I just didn't think, yeah, we're going to do anything in the end with November cards in there. Turns out that they did, but still, we, we got the coins back. Uh, 10k a piece, pretty much. And we're sitting on 4-12k right now with a very nice team, which I'm going to show you now. So we'll clear that. And behold, lads, what I think is a masterpiece of a team that I put together. They're playing a 4-3-2-1 still. We have got in between the six to Stegen, a back line of Clichy, Mangala, Pepe, and uh, what's his face at right back? Don't, Cancelo, that's his name. I was going to try and get that without looking. We got there. Cancelo at right back. A midfield three of N'Golo, Kante, Renato Sanchez, and Guilavogi. Arguably, could well be one of the godliest midfield threes that you can possibly put together on this game, especially for like the immense coins that we're working with. And then a front three of that inform Gnabry, Usman and Mbele, and then the inform Werner leading the line. Now, Werner, I've not tried yet. We paid 47k of him, expecting him to rise a little bit because I bought this card a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, he's staying about the same. He's not really gone down, but he's not gone up either. But hopefully. I might stick around with him for quite a bit because the, when the January upgrades come around, there's a good chance that this card could get one and he will then rise in value, I would imagine. Uh, right wing Dembele, I actually wanted to get the team of the group stage one. He's a left wing, but I was going to play him off Kem on that right hand side because he has, of course, got the four star weak foot. But he's just out of our price range right now. He's going for about 60k. We've got 45, but I plan on getting him if we can raise the funds so if we get promoted as champions we get about 6k just generally playing games as well if we can get around that kind of money that'd be pretty cool bring him in and add him to the squad it all depends as well of course how well this squad plays but really really happy with the way this team's turned out and hopefully it can perform as well as i'm hoping it's gonna but we're gonna jump into the first game of the episode there fingers crossed like i said this team can perform well I will quickly show you as well, actually, the instructions. I'll set them up because I haven't done them myself yet. We're going to be having the... Oh, I must have done them. We've got the wingbacks on Stabak while attacking. We've got Guilavogue on Stabak while attacking. In N'Golo, Kante and Sanchez have got free roam. Werner on stay central and getting behind. And then the two wingers just on regular settings. But um, other than that and the fact that the custom tactics should have cover on, which they have, we're going to jump into our first game. Here we go, then, lads. First game of today's episode. We're playing against someone. Oh, well. Wow, it's a full bronze team with a silver keeper. I can't help but feel that this guy's going to be quitting straight away. His team now is Road to Glory. Maybe he's trying to get fitness back. I don't know if this is actually a thing, but uh, yeah, if he plays, I will be amazed. Okay, so he's kicked off. It's lagging a bit, but he's gone straight. Is he giving us the own goal? Whoa, no, no way. This guy is actually give us the own goal. And quit. What a gentleman. Shout out to this guy. What was his team called? His team name was Road to Glory. At least he's given us the win. You know, fair play. That's a great start to the episode. <laughs> so because of that, that actually puts us in a great position. You can see we've played 6-1-6 six, six in Division 6. We need one point out of four games to secure the title. I still can't get over that. What a gentleman. <laughs> Here we go then. Second game of today's episode. Surely the same won't happen again. In fact, it definitely won't be happening again. This time, this guy's got a very nice team. It's full BPL. He's got Czech. He's got Smalling. He's got Kosciani. Stojpan at centre forward, which is kind of unusual. William Sanchez. Ozil. Coutinho. De Bruyne. It's a very, very nice Premier League team. This is... Werner, looking for that Dembele return. Go on, Uzmane. He's got a five-star weak foot. We're going to crack one. It's a good save by Pedstrup. First chance of the game. Are we going to keep that in? No, we'll take the corner. We'll take the corner. Werner, again, Dembele playing up front for some reason. Werner's carried on his run, though. Go on, Timo. Go on, Timo. Timo, Werner, just shoves the defender out of the way. Oh, it's got to be a goal. Inform Werner. 
straight at Petr Cech. We should have taken the lead there. Willie. Cancelo. Cancelo. Dink it in there, son. Look at the back stick. There's loads of space. It's got to be. It's 1-0, lads. We've tapped it in on his noggin. It's great play from Cancelo, the right back, to get forward. We get the cross in there. And I think that's Usman and Dembele that nods in. He just peeled away from the defender. Easy as head he'll have all day. And, uh, I mean, this is kind of annoying because it's lagging a little bit. I've mentioned it just. I don't know if it's because of the servers or my end or his end. I don't think it's my end. I played a couple of games today. And it's been absolutely fine. But it is Dembele on his debut, nodding home. And we have got the 1-0 lead. Oh God, watch the runner, watch the runner, watch both the runners, oh Alexis is coming side far too easy, and just like that it's 1-1, it's a really nice goal, what an absolute finish that is as well, I don't know who it is for, number 16, it's Daniel Storage, what a bloody rocket that was, on his right foot, really annoys me, because whenever I use him he can't do anything like that with his right foot, well in, N'Golo Kante, goes forward, Werner, can we get it back to Werner? I think he's just about onside. Come on, through the lag, Timo. Is he onside? Is he onside? I don't know if he's onside. We're going to... What on earth was that? The well, half-time, lads. It's 1-1, and it's incredibly laggy, which is making it a very, very difficult game. We scored early on with the Dembele ahead of this guy. Equalised almost instantly with a great finish with Danny Sturridge on his right foot. But this guy somehow dominating possession quite well. We've had much more shots, much more chances... But uh, with this lag, it's very, very difficult. I hope this is the servers. If it is, we'll just have to see how this session goes because we might be cutting it off early because I, oh, I can't play like this. It's horrible. Will of Ogie, we'll take that. We'll take that. Going back to Will of Ogie. Look at the run. Prod that through, Josh. Come on. Come on. It's Kante. He can't get there. Oh, we can't get the rebound either. God damn it. Yes, Sanchez. Can we bring that away? Look at the room for Dembele. That's where I'm looking to pass it. We found Dembele. Look at the space for Werner now. Look at the space for Gnabry now. Come on. Gnabry bring it forward. We might have to go to Dembele. We are going to go to Dembele. Five star week for crack that. Who's my name? Oh, it's off both posts. Tap in. Why it's gone in? I thought Petr Cech had saved it. The lag was deceiving. And we take a 2 1 lead. Who's more than Dembele shot off both posts? Who the hell did that not go in? And with 10 minutes left to go. It's that man again that's put it in Serge Gnabry. Petr Cech, though, he got a hand to it, and I thought he put it over somehow. Look at this. Gnabry meets it. Are we going to get a proper view here? It comes off. I mean, what a save that would be from Cech. Bounces up. I thought it had gone over. You can see the lag in the replay. Still absolutely crazy. And 10 minutes left to go. We could make it a perfect season. Seven wins out of seven. Look for Werner. Oh, God, the return is on. The return's on. Werner's giving it back to Dembele, and he slices it over the bar. Dembele's had a really good debut though, been everywhere. Great bit of football. Will of has gone forward, so is Werner. We find Werner. Can he turn his man? He can. Oh, it's a great tackle. That's got to be the end of the game though. Surely that's going to be it. That it is it. Just realised that the camera's top recording. He obviously reached the end of the 10 minutes. That is the end of the game though. And we win 2 1, but it was a horrible, laggy affair, hopefully. I mentioned it when I think we scored our first, our first goal, maybe our second goal. If the game that we play next is just as laggy, then we won't be playing another one because it's just absolutely horrendous. I'm pretty sure it's not my end. I'm pretty sure it's just the EA servers. And if they're having an off night, which does happen, then it's just not worth playing as far as I'm concerned. But the positives, we pick up 6.4k for that win. We take ourselves into Division 5. You can see we deserve the win without doubt. This guy saw a lot of possession, but didn't do a lot with it. And we also take a perfect record with us. Seven wins, no draws, no losses. Absolutely outstanding. Like I said, we're going to jump into the next game, and hopefully it won't be lagging this time. Here we go then, lads. Our next opponent's team is loading up. He's got another Premier League team. It's a very nice one. Again, he's got Mares, He's got Vardy, Sterling, Eriksen, Kante, Oscar, Smaldini, and Bailey. Bailey, Bailey, whoever you say. So, uh, very sweaty defence there. Very difficult partnership to get through. It said three green balls on the latency, but so did the last game. So, that clearly doesn't mean anything. He's also got Steve Mandander in goal, who I never think he's the best. But now I've said that, I'm sure he's about to have a blinder against us. Who's Marner Dembele? Well played. Well played. Looking for that run from Timo. Come on, Timo. Drop inside. He has dropped inside. Surely we've got that. Oh, my God. He has got to be off. Timo Werner is in one-on-one. -on -one. Bakary Senu, I think that is. It's just absolutely cleaned me out. It is Senu, and he does see red. First major chance of the game for us. We played it really well with Dembele. Tried to throw through Werner. And now we've got ourselves a free kick in a very good position. And he's down to 10 men. Go with this Marner Dembele just to get his men off the line. Can we kill this in? Oh, I'll tell you what, it's just wide. 
Still Gnabry. Still Gnabry. Go on, son. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's on his right foot and that has got some power behind it, but not on target. We need to get it up that top end. Although, Werner's made a great run there and it's straight through the bloody middle. Werner. Come on, Timo. Come on. Yeah, that's got a four-star weak foot. We're going to go on his left. Oh, he's dragged it wide again. He needs to be doing better in those positions. Oh, well played. Look at the space up there as well. This is the side where Bakris only was, of course. He's been sent off. Serge Gnabry. Look at the options. Look at the options. We're going to go one more to Werner. Surely he has to finish this one. The lag. Please. Oh, what a block. This guy's paused it. I don't know if he's changing it round because he's been a bit expert. Well... This guy's quit at nil-nil. What a bizarre episode this is turning out to be. A rage quit there. We're not going to get anything for it though because it was nil-nil. We were all over him as well, which is kind of frustrating. You can see the stats here. We had five shots, he had five shots. But since he went down to ten men, we have been completely dominant. And like I say, that game isn't going to count for anything. And I am going to round this episode up here purely because the server seems to be so laggy at the moment. So we've had three games today. The first one ended with an own goal in the most bizarre fashion ever. The second one went all the way through but was completely laggy. And that one, the guy just quit at nil-nil after like 40 minutes or whatever it was. So this has only been one game actually fully confirmed to have played, which is a bizarre episode. But what a failure of an attempt at a recording this has been. Like I say, I am going to stop here purely because of the laggy servers. But I will 100% do another Road to Glory episode by the end of the week when hopefully maybe the servers are a bit better I'll be at home as well so hopefully you know maybe maybe it was my server here I, I don't know but uh either way my server here the internet here you, you know what I mean but either way that was a pretty horrific session bit of a failure of a recording but um that's gonna end up the episode so leave a big thumbs up on it if you did enjoy let me know what you think of the team and if you change anything hopefully we're only about 5 to 10k away from getting that Tim the group session in Bella. So if he drops a little bit, we might be able to bring him in before the next episode. You never know. But uh, like I said, that's going to end it off. Sorry that it's been a bit of a short one and have been a bit of a catastrophe. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'll speak to you all tomorrow with a brand new video of some sort, as well as what will be a play review as well. So enjoy the rest of your evening, lads. Need you out. Yo, he's Nidge plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like. And